back. Well, we met our first guest a couple years ago, and that's when she gave us the rules on writing the perfect Christmas letter. We just had Hallmark Christmas movies, now we have this. Her brand new book called The Kids Are Gonna Ask is uh, in bookstores right now. Please welcome back to our show, Gretchen Anthony. Hi, Gretchen. Hi, how are you, Jason? I'm doing well, thanks for being back. You know, we, Jeff and I were just talking, uh, a lot of things are coming back into fashion, so to speak, in this age of COVID and quarantine. We're actually talking to our family. Isn't that amazing, Gretchen? Uh, but but yeah. be before we get to your new book, I wanted to ask you about your old one. Are you seeing a resurgence in good old fashioned uh, greeting cards and letter writing? You know where I'm going with this. Are, are you seeing a return to this? I just got an email the other day that said from somebody who said, I love writing letters. Will everyone send me their address so I can start writing letters? So a little bit. I think I, I think producer Ted should pull his his strings at the Hallmark Channel so that we can make my other book, Evergreen Tidings from the Bomb Gardeners, into a Christmas movie, and then he can review that Christmas movie here. Do you think I, that should work? Done. You know what? I, as Ted is speak as I'm speaking. Ted is firing it off an email right now. We'll do it. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ted. We'll do it. Yes. Okay, tell us. Uh, tell us. I gave a little bit there. Tell us about the the new book. Yeah, the new book is a departure. It's um, also though about a, you know a current event. So I'm a huge podcast fan, and the fact that I was going to write a book about podcasts was not a huge stretch. But just what that podcast would be about was what I had to figure out. And so um, this book is about. 17 year old twins it's set here in minneapolis because i love writing books about minnesotans um two 17 year old twins and they start a podcast to find their biological father who, who they've never met after their mother dies and they're living with their eccentric quirky grandmother and uh, the podcast goes viral and their lives are upended in the process and it's really at its heart it's a story about family and I love these kids. As a mom, I really, really, really wanted to give their story justice. So I get a little emotional about it, to be honest. But it's a funny book, too, so don't worry. <laughs> no, that, that's so interesting you said that because, you know, when you, you know, I watch a lot of making of documentaries. And when you see creators like, uh, you know, George Lucas or whatever that create these characters, they do become very connected in their do you, they, yeah. they're real people to the authors. Do you look at the kids in this book? Are they real to you in your mind? Because I will never be as talented as you. I, I, I respect writers so much. I do not have that wiring. In your mind, Gretchen, are, are these kids real to you? Well, they are real yeah. to me. Um, at the core, to, <laughs> to be honest, physically, I modeled them. I have all teenage boys myself, and my oldest son is now 17. He was 15 and 16 when I was writing the book. But I modeled, it's a girl and a boy twin, Thomas and Savannah, and I modeled them physically and, and a little bit personality-wise on my son, Connor, and his best friend, Sarah, who is a girl, and they're not dating at all. They're, they're like literally best friends and they're kind of polar opposites in ways. Sarah, I call her a Hershey's Kiss in female form because she's just tiny and she's intense and she's all flavor and personality. And um, Connor is like six feet tall and he's just gangly and he's the Thomas. So yes, in a lot of ways, these kids were real to me because I was watching those two grow up as I was writing these characters. And so they're not, you know, they're not carbon copies by any means. And this is not my son's story, but I was really able to, um, I really tried, put yeah. it that way, to get at the heart of their story and to do them justice. I'm so glad that you're back. And we have another, we're going to uh, have some fun with you in just a second after we go to break. But I'm so glad you're back because I remember you sitting right next to me and you were waiting on approval for the cover. Remember this, Gretchen? You were waiting on yeah, approval for the cover and you couldn't say anything. I, I'm looking at the cover in our graphic. I really like it. Are you happy with it? Yeah, it took me. <laughs> It took me a little bit to warm up to it. Yeah, yeah, the cover. Um, it, it, um, yeah, it's very trendy right now. Yeah. I just, it grew on me. I, yeah. I really like it. And yeah, I remember you and I, you're like, okay, you know, we can't say anything, but I, I really like it. So congratulations. We're actually going to, we're actually going to play a game with Gretchen when we come back. Stay right there. Back in a moment. <laughs> Back. We're back with Gretchen.
Gretchen Anthony, author of the book, The Kids Are Gonna Ask with a Beautiful Cover. And Gretchen, you're a big fan of podcasts. I am too. Oh, by the way, Gretchen, speaking of podcasts, this isn't like true crime or anything. Executive producer Jeff, I have to credit him. Have you heard, have you listened to the Dolly Parton's America podcast? Not yet. It's in my list. Is it good? Oh, Gretchen, I, I look, I, I have to give credit where credit's due. Jeff is usually right with podcasts. I listened to this right before the, uh, the, the quarantine started. A fantastic podcast. It will make you think differently. You will look at uh, Dolly Parton and her influence on culture really differently when you, when you listen to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I promise. Okay. And then I'll call you up and let you know what I think. Please do. Okay. You're going to quiz me. I love this. Usually I'm hosting the quizzes. You're going to quiz <laughs> me now. I am. Okay. I am. Okay. I call this the prove your love of podcast pop quiz. Okay. Okay. So question number one, a red dining room table features prominently in my new novel, the kids are going to ask. So I was really excited to stumble across a popular real life show called the red table podcast. Who headlines the Red Table podcast, which features, quote, groundbreaking and healing conversations and, quote, where no topic is off limits? Is it A, actress Jada Pinkett Smith, B, Real Housewife Camille Grammer, C, self-help help author and motivational speaker Lucinda Bassett, or D, Dr. Sandra Lee, a.k.a. Dr. Pimple Popper? Well, though I would watch anything Dr. Pimple Popper did, it is A, Jada Pinkett Smith. Have you listened to it? Uh, yeah, and I watch it. She's like. Yeah, it, I, yeah, it's yeah. also, yeah. Yeah. This, on Facebook. The last one with Will was a little too much for me because Will looked really uncomfortable, but I do love Jada, but yeah. Yeah, and it also features her daughter and a mom. Yes. Okay, you're doing very well. Thank Number two, you. one of my favorite can't miss podcasts is The Office Ladies about the hit comedy The Office. And it quote co stars um, best friends Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey, who are doing their ultimate The Office rewatch podcast for you. But Office Ladies is just one of the podcasts dedicated to the hit NBC sitcom. How many podcasts are out there that are dedicated oh. to The Office? Is it A, 9, B, 48, C, 14, or D, 93? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to upset a lot of people here to admit that I'm not a big fan of The Office. So I am going to say C. You're good. There are 14, and that does oh. not include the the podcasts that are on the original UK version of The Office. That would top I would, 20. I would love to say that that was skill. That was pure luck right there. That was, <laughs> I was thinking of the word cat, so I went with C. So, yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, number three. One of the top podcasts in the country right now is called Park Predators. What is it? A, a wilderness show, uh, survival show featuring quote, real life stories of survival after vicious animal attacks. B, one of the many podcasts from the National Park Service that provides, quote, virtual access to the nation's park and, and the wildlife that lives within them. Or C, a true crime podcast about human predators who use the nation's park to commit murder. Quote, sometimes the most beautiful places hide the darkest secrets. Oh, I want all of them to be true. And I would list, I would say C. You are good at this. Okay. It is C. I'm not going to listen to this one because I like to hike and I do not need any more. Oh, yeah. You don't need that in your head. You don't need that. Yeah. yeah no. But that's no. fascinating. Okay. okay. We have time for one more. Okay. Which of these celebrities currently does not have. Um, no, I'm going to do this one. Okay. I'm going to do this one. Um, Another top ranked podcast in the US right now is Wind of Change. What is it about? A, a deep dive into the origins of the 80s pop song Wind of Change by the Scorpions. B, a political podcast featuring the nation's top political minds as they discuss all things 2020. C, a podcast produced by Rolling Stone magazine about, quote, one unforgettable summer, 1968, and the three short months that forever changed the fabric of America. Oh, um, C again. Oh, Rolling Stone magazine. No, I fooled you. Finally, fooled you. Oh. This one is this one is actually a deep dive into the origins of the 80s pop song by the Scorpions. So the journalist Patrick Radden 
Key, you've heard a rumor that the song wasn't written by the Scorpions. It was written by the CIA as an act of insurrection. Well, who and this knew? Is his journey to find the truth is what he says. Yeah. Well, I think this was a good trade off. I gave the Dolly Parton one, and now I'm going to listen to the Park Predator one because that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay. You're going to have to listen to that one for me. I will. Gretchen, thank you. We'll see you soon. Yeah, thanks, Jason. The Kids Are Going to Ask is available wherever books are sold. There it is right now. Support Gretchen. Support local authors. She's fantastic. We're going to take a break, everyone. We'll be back with some social media comments right after this. Back in a moment.